here at Khalid Bahir Castle. It was built by Sultan Mehmed II in 1462 to protect the Dardanelles Strait from invaders to Istanbul. Between here and Chinakhle is the narrowest part of the strait. Now we're standing inside a Turkish memorial here on the Gallipoli Peninsula. It is dedicated to 251,000 Turkish soldiers who either died or were injured during the First World War. Behind me we have the largest monument on the peninsula which is 41 meters in height. Now let's explore the complex. Now we are standing on the main Turkish uh, cemetery and the main Turkish statue. We have now in a cemetery which contains a lot of stones, a lot of tombs. But actually, if we look at one of them, after the campaign, where, when the soldiers identified, their names are written on one part of the tombstone. And unidentified ones, they don't have tombstone. This side, other side, other 18 identified names of the soldiers. In total, there are 36 identified soldiers' names. These are empty, these are symbolically constructed. So in total, there are 59,408 identified Turkish uh, soldiers. Here we see the British Memorial, the Memorial. It was constructed in the name of the British soldiers during the Gallipoli campaign in World War I. Around the walls, identified British soldiers' names are This is the place for ceremonial area. We call here also North Beach or Anzac Coast ceremonial area. This is the place where the ceremonies or Anzac commemorations are organized on 25th April every year. In 1915, on 25th April, there were 4,000 4, Anzac troops. They landed here in two hours. At 6.30 in the morning, there were 4,000 troops on this land, on this uh, piece of a piece of a land, on this beach. We're standing in the Lone Pine Cemetery and Memorial. This is dedicated to the fallen Australian soldiers that fought in the Battle of Lone Pine. The reason why they call it Lone Pine is because when they fought here, there was a single pine tree similar to this one in this spot. And now here we are standing on Chinook Bayer. 260 meters above sea level. This is our last point on our trip. Right behind of me we see Chinook Bayer Memorial which was constructed in 1925 in memory of New Zealanders, New Zealand soldiers who lost their lives here. And next to it we see Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, the founder of Turkey, who was also involved in the campaign of Gallipoli, who was lieutenant colonel here. Right over there we see Sula Bay and a part of the Aegean Sea. In Sula Bay, we should remember when we say Sula Bay, 20,000 British, New Zealander and Indian soldiers landed here on 6th August 1915.